Hi everybody, Dan here. Today we're going to be talking about X-ray material. This kind of shaders is normally used for technical illustrations, biological and medical illustrations, and also for ghosts and spirit and other kind of ethereal looking uh, shaders. I'm going to show you how to make the whole shading network to achieve this kind of results. Let's start adding a new material and assign a greenish color, no roughness. We're gonna make sure to be in a shaded in a preview for EV, for example, but it works also in cycle. And we also need to set the word background to black because I want to see how the material is actually uh, reacting without any lights in the scene. So even some gray background will actually lit the objects and I don't want any light to come from the background. In order to see the objects, we need to change the emission of the object and we don't want it white, we want the emission to be the same color of the base of the color. So we can actually add an RGB node and we can use the same color here and connect it to both the base color and the color so it will be emitting exactly the same color. Also, we want to have some kind of bloom effects all around. So we go in the compositing and we add the glare node in between the image and the output. And that's all we need really. And it's glowing. Uh, make sure that you have always enabled or camera, if you are in a camera view or always enabled compositor in the viewport shading window. The next step is adding a Fresnel node to the alpha with a very low value, let's say something like this. It's already looking interesting, but as not the final look that we want. This principle will provide us with the contour. Let's increase a little bit the strength of the emission just to see better what's going on but i want also some of the body of the object so we're gonna copy our nodes and we're gonna preview this new network this time i'm gonna use the facing with the lower emission strength and this still doesn't look okay and one of the reason it's because we are previewing in Eevee so you want to change some of the settings of the Eevee shader from Dither to Blended so we can see a bit better what's going on you can go back to Cycles in case you want to see the difference between Cycles and Eevee so it's almost no difference I want to change the Blend to something a bit stronger and instead of having a uniform color, I want to add a noise. So let's add a noise texture. Then we add a color ramp so we can fine tune the, the look of the noise texture. We want also to mix it with our layer weight. Let's do a mix multiply and let's do the color here. The multiply goes in the alpha. And you can see in this area how it's affecting. We can change a little bit. And now we need to mix these two elements. So the border and the body. And that would go with the low value because we want more the the edges basically of the object and some of the sides, the faces too. If you want to have more control over how many layers of transparency, you can do it only using cycles in this case because it doesn't work in a Eevee. And the way you can do it is adding another mix shader, use a transparent BSDF 
and de facto is going to be controlled by the transparent depth found in the light path node. Now, there's no control over here now, but we need to modify the output of the transparent depth with a greater than. Now, this value, it works like an integer. Zero, it means that there's no transparency. You can still see the edges, of course, it's a cool effect. One is going to be one layer. You see some transparency. Look at the tires, for example. And you can go up to two and see a bit more. And you can increase this to your preference. I think that the threshold of five will reflect a similar result to what I can see with Eevee, but it depends on the object on the mesh you are working on. Some objects may be working better with less transparency. For example, this character, let's see how it will look with five level of transparency. You can see through very well, or let's say one, for example, it shows barely no transparency, just the edges are visible. I combine all the elements in a group so you can control everything from this node over here. You can download this shader, the link is in the description of this video, where you can control, of course, the depth of transmission of the transparency. You can change the intensity of the noise that it works on the body, so on the faces of the object. You can decide to remove the noise altogether, so it looks smoother. Changing the emission. Changing the proportion of edges only, or body only, or a mix of them. And changing the edges size. They look stronger, of course you want to reduce the emission. Or you can have them very, very thin. I also added this option to change the color independently. If you want something less uh, spooky, let's say that you want the edges in white and the color body in blue to have a look that it's a bit more professional and clinical. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Ciao.